Young Industries has been in business since 1947. We design and manufacture a wide range of products, mostly for handling powders. Bulk material equipment manufacturer, we engineer custom made to order equipment for our customers. So everything we do is kind of a one-off unique experience. We build equipment for hard to handle materials. Mostly in the chemical and pharmaceutical and food industries. We have dust control equipment as well as metering equipment, a line of fluidizing, conveying equipment that we call stingers and transflow fluidization. Our design engineering team is made up of approximately six to seven engineers. First of all, we are a problem solving company. Customers come to us with applications that they can't solve Personally, I love Legos, and when we deal with customer projects, it's a lot of the same thing. Taking these little pieces, these standard building blocks that you're putting them together in different ways based on the customer's needs to come up with this product, sometimes that you've never even thought of before. We will design and manufacture systems so that they can put it in their process and solve the problem of conveying or handling their powders. The CAD history at Young Industries, I mean, we started, I think, as anybody did, drafting boards, pencils, etc. We used to have a product called Mountaintop, or AccuGraph. That was a 2D program with some 3D functionality. When it got to the point that we could no longer really translate or get information in and out of, as we started to move to being a Windows-based company and not really being able to go between those two worlds, support, cost, just everything else, we decided we needed a new, a better 2D CAD solution. We had already added 3D modeling with SolidWorks, so DraftSite was almost a no-brainer. We were able to go ahead and bring in a 2D CAD software integrated with SolidWorks, integrated with our PDM, easily able to deploy and manage. We didn't have to worry about, well, how many people and is this going to work? Most people that worked here at the time were familiar with using the Mountaintop product. Just to get into DraftSite, they were able to catch on real quick just because it is easy and intuitive to use. It fit and ticked all the boxes for cost, flexibility, just everything for us. We primarily use SolidWorks to do all of our main 3D CAD designing, and with DraftSite we use that for geared towards plant layouts, process and identification, PNID diagrams, as well as legacy drawings that we have in our library. We were able to introduce the renderings right into the, our proposals, and the renderings, sometimes they look just as good as the photographs of equipment that we're manufacturing. The biggest efficiency and time gain would be in the uh, use of blocks and the attributes. Made our job really quick, really easy. We'll get a DXF or a drawing from a customer. We are able to open that in draft site, take measurements, look at adjustments, insert models. We don't have to go back and start by redesigning it or redrawing it. We can go ahead and work with that product and then bring in some of our own models, our own 3D and things from SolidWorks together in DraftSite to develop a new drawing or a plan for the customer's application. What we look for in a software vendor relationship is the support that is needed and with the team at DraftSite, we feel like we have that at all times. You're always looking to find the most efficient way to do things. And we can't do what we do at Young Industries without having both a 2D and 3D application. Using SolidWorks and DraftSite, we're definitely able to prepare better quotations. We see that our quotations are better understood, and we have seen an uptake in business because of it. DraftSite and SolidWorks has been a great, great addition to that.